Okay, so these are some more uh, word problems uh, in continuation with our class yesterday. And this is um, um, this problems that we have in this video involves two-step uh, solution. And I'd like you to watch carefully on this first, uh, first slide. I'll try to explain to you how to solve this one. And on the following slide, I will show you how to present it on your papers. All right, so let's uh, read the problem. Harriet had 34 birds in cage 1 and 20 in cage 2. She moved some of the birds in cage 1 to cage 2 so that now they have equal number of birds. How many birds did she transfer? Okay, so here we have two cages. So this will be our cage 1 and you have 34 there, right? And the second one you have 20 and that is your cage 2. Now let's read the problem again, the second line. It says, she moved some birds in cage 1 to cage 2 so that they now have equal number of birds. So, look at 34, the box with 34. We took some of those represented by the red box. Okay, and okay, so one red box is the number of birds that we moved. Okay, and we don't know how much, I mean how many birds were there, but... Okay, and we move them to cage two. Now, in this in this type of problem, this may be a little bit trial and error on your part when you draw your um, boxes, because you want to make sure that in the end, the final length of your cage one is equal to the final length of your cage two. Okay, so what am I talking about? So you see that vertical lines there. So the final length of your cage one is the same as your cage 2 okay all right so see that so they're the same length now all right so we want to see those um, boxes of the same length all right so let's go back to the problem so this is what we did this is this is where we are now right so let's look carefully in this one all right okay all right Okay, so that was your original 20. What about if we move back the one red box that we added to cage 2? Let's move it back to cage 1, okay? All right. Do you see that? Okay. So now you can see that the two red boxes is just equal basically to these two boxes here. It's just equal to the 34, which was the original uh, number of birds in cage 1, minus 20. Okay, can you see that 34 minus 20 that's equal to the two red boxes okay so therefore if two red boxes is equal to 34 minus 20 so that is equal to 14 then one red box is just equal to 7 okay so remember one red box there is equal to the number of birds you moved okay and the question is how many birds did you transfer so that's that basically answers your question all right so if now if you let's revise the question say the question is how many birds are there in cage 2 now so initially it has 20 plus 7 so you have 27 on cage 1 you had 34 you subtracted 7 which you moved to cage 2 you also have 27 so now you can see that cage 1 and cage 2 have equal number of birds all right so in this kind of question well in, when you do your work on your paper, they show that. All right, so let's go back to that same problem. That's the same problem. Here, this is how you present this one. As I have mentioned, you have two steps in here. So the first step will be you just draw the figures or you just draw the boxes that re is represented by the problem. Okay, so you have cage 1, you have 34, cage 2, you have 20. And make sure they start on the same line. As you can see, I have a vertical line in there, and you mark the 34 and the 20. Okay, and then we say we need to subtract, uh, we moved some of the birds, right? So we'll represent that one by the red box, okay? Okay, so we will subtract, uh, uh, I mean, move some of the birds, okay? So for step two, that's when we do the moving, okay? So we add the red box and 30, uh, we, we draw. A red box over the 34 and then add it on the 20 okay so that's okay so look carefully on the second step okay make sure you understand the diagram right okay so you do the computa computation now so you have two boxes is equal to 34 minus 20 
So therefore, the two boxes is 14, one box is 7. Okay, if, if this is not very clear, you may need to pause this one and try to work it out in your head or to make sure you understand this one, all right? Okay, so let's pause this video after this. Okay, all right, look at this one. This is your prob the next problem. Pause the video, draw the model, and answer this one. If you could not answer this on your own, then you, that means you need to go back to the... The, the start of this video, okay? Okay, another exercise. All right, pause and draw. Pause and, do, and draw the model and answer, okay? All right, so we have another question here. All right, Hannah hired Chase and Russ to clean out the cages. Both boys earned the same amount of money. If Chase spent $130 and Russ spent $480, Chase will have three times as much money as uh, left as Russ. How much money did each boy earn? Okay. All right, so we have Chase. He earned this much money. And Russ also, they have the same, right? Okay, so you can see that the same length. All right. Okay, now Chase spent $130, so that is $130, and Russ spent $480, so that's $480. Okay, so when they spend this much money, okay, Russ, money, my, Russ, uh, Russ would only have this one box here, that's the darkened blue box, okay, so that's what's left with his money. And that is a third of Chase, or Chase would have three times as much as that, okay? All right? So again, this is sort of like a trial and error. So you have, when you draw your boxes, and when you, uh, uh, I can understand that it'll, you know, this one will take a little bit of practice, but eventually you'll, uh, hopefully you'll get that one. That, that one. So make sure that my Russ remainder, uh, Russ money, the remaining money, uh, remaining money is one third of what's left with Chase. Okay. All right. So let's let's take out the money that was spent. Okay. Can you see this one? All right. Okay. Look at that. Four hundred eighty, which was the money that Russ spent. If you subtract 130, which was the money that Chase spent, okay, so 480 minus 130, that's basically equal to that two boxes that were on top, right? Okay, so it's equal to two boxes. Okay, so from here we can just do our solution. So 480 minus 130 is 350, and that is equal to two boxes. That's two boxes, by the way. And so one box is equal to 175. Okay. All right. So therefore, Russ's money is one seventy-five because he is he had one box plus plus the money that he spent, which was four hundred and eighty. So Russ's original money is six hundred fifty-five, and for Chase, because Chase's money he has like three three boxes after he spent his 130 so that will be 3 times 175 because he has th he had 3 boxes and 1 box is 175 plus the money that he had spent and that's also 655 and if you go back to the problem uh, it, it mentioned that originally they earned the same amount of money and 655 is definitely equal to 655 okay in your uh, paper if you were going to solve this one in your paper okay so this is the same problem so the first step you draw the diagram okay second step you do you you can draw the money that was spent or the second action the second step that is mentioned in the uh, problem in this case you can show how much money was spent by both boys and you can show um that Russ's remaining money, I mean Chase's remaining money is three times as much as Russ's remaining money, okay? 
and then you draw necessary lines so you can see uh, some computations all right so in the second step you can see that 130 and then 480 and I made those two vertical lines and I had a question mark so you can see that question mark is basically just 480 minus 130 right and it but it's also equivalent to two blue boxes okay so the, the last part will be your computation okay so you have the two boxes is equal to 480 minus 130 so therefore one box is 175 and so then all right so when we have your when when I assign word problems for you I would expect you to do something like this unless you can do it in your head okay now um, I understand most of you can actually do things in your head but I'd like still I'd like you to practice um, the model method so you can just gain familiarity with it and for the harder questions this will actually help you with that all right okay so we have another example here and I'd like to see if you can work this one out and let's just pause this one until you are able to finish this one again if you are not able to do this one then you need to go back to the previous page all right